Once the input of the structure has been defined, in particular having defined geometry, materials, and loads, it is possible to calculate the structure. To perform the calculation, in the calculation preferences of the navigator, it is necessary to define the type of analysis. It is possible to impose no seismic calculation, or only vertical dynamics. It is also possible to impose an equivalent or dynamic static calculation. In general, we work with horizontal dynamics, but depending on what the regulation tells us we must also take into account the vertical component in the seismic calculation. Once the type of analysis has been chosen, we must quantify the seismic input, to do so, from the navigator in the standard data section. Within the seismic analysis, we can access using the edit button a window that allows us to quantify all the necessary parameters to define the spectra of the limit states. In this window, we will identify all the contributions that affects the limit state such as the prevailing soil type, the class of the building, which influences the lifespan of the asset, we select the spectrum type and the spectrum generation mode. In fact, in the code data navigation node, we find the response spectra card, from which we can apply filters, to see in the program, for example, the elastic spectrum of the life-saving limit state for the X direction. Once the elastic spectra have been defined, when we work in the linear field it is necessary to proceed with the definition of the structure factor, to obtain the project actions, so it is necessary to obtain the elastic spectrum to define what is commonly referred to as the project spectrum. Once again the program helps the structural engineer in defining this structure factor. Also in the code data, under the seismic analysis tab, we have the freedom to manually specify the structure factor to the program. We can deactivate the automatic calculation flag of the structure factor and, in this way, we are free to manually enter the most appropriate value for the structure factor. The alternative is that the program calculates it, in which case we must activate the automatic flag of the factors for a horizontal seismic analysis. At this point, the program provides the calculation of this factor through the information that the structural engineer introduces such as the type of structure, the ductility class and the regularity conditions. As we have said before, the structure factor also depends on the conditions of structural regularity, chosen by the structural engineer. Therefore, the structural engineer will have to impose regularity in the plant and regularity in height through these fields. Remember that for the building, in order to consider regularly both in plan and in height, all the fields must be active at the same time. For example, it is sufficient that for regularity in plan, a field is not active and the program will launch the calculation of the structure factor for a non-regular building in plan. It is necessary to clarify that, if the structural engineer makes a hypothesis of both regularities in plan and height, based on this hypothesis the program automatically calculates the structure factor. Therefore, if the structural engineer assumes that the building is regular in plan and height, activating all the fields, consequently, the program calculates the structure factor for a regular building both in plan and in height. But some of these points can be verified during the calculation. The structural engineer, following a hypothesis of regularity, will have to perform the calculation of the building, then, at the end of this calculation there is a diagnosis, and this diagnosis will confirm or not the hypotheses of structural regularity. If the diagnosis indicates error messages, due to regularity, and in particular in height, the structural engineer must reset the calculation, deactivate the hypotheses of regularity and perform the calculation again, so that the software can recalculate the structure factor, this time, for a not regular building in plane or height. Once the stress calculation has been carried out, it is already possible to consult the structure factor, determined automatically by the software. In fact, in the data of the regulation in the seismic analysis section, we see that the program returns to us in this field the structure factor that has been calculated in both directions, based on the assumptions assumed on the type of structure, on the ductility class and the regularity conditions.